So my name is Camilla. I'm Italian. I lived in Naples for my whole life until two years ago when I moved to London. Naples is a very um, friendly city and when I moved, I think when I moved it made me realize how much it shaped my personality and how much my personality was influenced by Naples and the way that my culture is, my um, tradition is. Like I was used to hanging out with a lot of people, you know everyone, even though it's a big city. Uh, you know everyone, everyone knows you, everyone has a chat to you, your neighbours are very close to you. It's a very people city and I'm a very people person. So I say, yeah, it's a, it was a very positive experience to make me feel like it was normal to be a people person. There's no such thing as not being one because you live in Naples, you know what I mean? I'm Diana and I'm from Portugal. Oh, this is the best thing, well, this is the best thing that's ever happened in my life and it's where I want my ashes um, to go when I die. Um, I went out and I was really angry and I just like wandered around and I ended up like in the middle of the mountain and it was so, like I was so angry that the grass was so big and there was like so many like weeds that would like scratch me and I was so angry that I wouldn't feel it. But then like I got to like this big rock like big big rock and then like I was really like I really felt like like calm like everything is literally fine and everything will always be fine and then I wrote my my name I wrote D with like little rocks in that big rock and I drew a map of how to get there yeah but I couldn't find it ever since but it's like my favorite place on earth my name is Harry and I'm from Haywards Heath which is a town near Brighton these were like my favorite memories of Brian was like everyone had just come out of lockdown I guess and people were just fucking desperate for contact with people um so we used to just go and like big big group of us just hang out um all of my best friends um and we'd always hang out at Brighton so we used to like book out premier inns um like and then just uh, not even premier inns they're just like these shitty like independent hotels in the seafront it's called the view um, had mold ever it's disgusting um, it was a fucked place it was great and so we just like buy a two bedroom cram eight ten of us in there get super fucked ruin the fucking like trash the place and then uh, they'd do it again a few months later <laughs> I had really fucking fun so yeah that was like 2020 summer and like did a lot of swimming in Brian um, really fell in love it was really cool it was good fun it was a very fun time Okay, I'm Maya, I'm from Poland. I guess my first home, I lived literally like two minutes from my best friend and we would see each other every day. And sometimes I'd go there to see my old house just because it reminds me of my childhood. Mm. Even though I don't connect it to actually like a place, it's more to my memories mm. with my friends and growing up. I would literally like everyone would come up to our house and we would spend like so much time together. So I always come up like to see my old house just because it reminds me of my childhood. <coughs> so, I'm Jack Sproston and I grew up in Stoke-on-Trent. I haven't really talked about it, but football was a big thing for me growing up. And I guess that kind of constitutes home as well. Um, I've, I've grown up playing football my whole life, going to watch football. Um, I've been playing football in lads and dads teams since I was like seven, um, all the way through to when I was 16 and going to watch Stoke games for like that whole time as well. So um, I think I, that that's something I kind of miss um, being in London. I don't know how to describe it. Like, cause a lot of my friends are big football fans as well at home. So that's something you go home and you talk about who's going to win the Premier League. And have you, did you see that goal in the Champions League last night? Whereas um, I think that's something I do miss here. Oh, I miss the sun. I miss the sun so much in the beaches. Oh, in the little village, and my gra uh, grandparents, and my family. Oh, I miss everything. It's so nice. I miss my friends. Yeah. I miss my family a lot, but not in the sense that I regret moving. I miss them, but I feel like moving made us closer in the sense that I talk to them even more. That's what I was saying the other day. I was like, me and my mom are really close, and we talk every day. We have such a strong relationship. Me and my dad are really close as well, but I feel like we talk more ever since I came to London than when I was to Naples because now now he calls me Hella because it's like, oh, my 
my little girl is in London. I got to check on her. So she just calls. She just he just calls me every day. We just chat every day. I really miss the nature and the peacefulness of it. Um, whenever I go home, I can just relax, not really think about anything. Um, I just take it as like a fucking vacation at this point. Um, I miss the fam familiarity of it. Um, I miss my parents cooking meals for me and stuff. I just miss like the ease of it. I mean, the only thing that I miss about Poland that is that it's way more quiet. Here, you never have a moment where you're gonna walk alone in the street. In Poland, I could do it all the time. So I'm Ollie, and I'm from Scotland, but in specifics, I'm from Dunfermline Fife in Scotland, and it's recently been made a city. Mm. Thank you, Queen Liz. It's. I know that everyone that moves to a city says this, but like London is so fast paced. Like you don't have. Like when I moved, I thought I was gonna feel really anxious and stressed the entire time, but I just didn't have time. Like it was like, okay, on to the next thing. I'm doing this, I'm doing this. Like I don't really experience homesickness because it is just literally like, I have no time to feel homesick. Like I'm okay, like- so my name is Millie Dry and I'm from Hale, from Cornwall originally. I do have a lot of, like, I think I do have a lot of trauma attached to that place because mm. obviously my dad dying of cancer and it being quite, it was like a really traumatic experience, especially when it was going on with the first lockdown and COVID. So like that is like going back to that and especially being in the house, like most of his stuff is like gone, but there's lo not really, there's loads of his stuff there, but it's okay. Like I've been okay with it. Like it is what it is at the end of the day, but Cornwall for me, I do think that is one of the things of why I also don't want to go back because it has a lot of like trauma like attached to it. If you can hide away here in London where you've got everything, you've got all your mates like you're up here, all my mates up here have got so much stimulation, so much going on, like creatively as well. Like every night or every day I'm going out doing something new, you know what I mean? Whereas there, you're kind of put back to it to dwell mm. on it, which is not like what everyone, what is not what you're going to want, is it? I couldn't be in my childhood like home or bedroom anymore like I just had so much like happen there that like either with that with that like being like an ex-boyfriend or like like my dad and stuff like it just had so much I don't know I feel like places hold like a certain feeling sometimes or like hold on to stuff in a way that like is indescribable and my mum's house like now though it is like lovely and she's made it her like home and you know she always says oh this is your room like it's not really my room because i didn't live there like i lived there in summer before i moved but it was more of like a transitional place like i went home like two weeks ago and i call it home because like that's home i guess in the sense that that's where my family are but like i don't feel much attachment to like that like because my actual childhood home i'll never go back to like you see the young people go through the same shit like when I look out my window I live in the park I see like the same kids like just different years like every time I look another year has gone by mm. it's like the same kids the previous year they're playing like kicking around a football in front of mine now they're walking along like in like a night tech fleece on a bike with like some dodgy rolled zoot you know mm. what I mean I just have such a problem with comfort I just feel like if I'm comfortable, I'm not achieving anything. And I feel like I need to be achieving something all the time. Otherwise, I just, like, I'm not happy. So going home, yeah, it's comfortable and it's lovely and it's nice to see all my friends and everything. I, but I, like, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be happy if I went and moved back home. Do you know what I mean? I said this to Esme when they were down staying with me. Um, and like this maybe sounds really morbid like and i i don't mean it like that but like scotland is my home right like 100 percent. and the way i describe it is i will die in scotland i just won't live there but i'm really enjoying like building my life down here and i don't know what home is like i think it's a really weird one because simultaneously like i want to say that it's my mom's flat and i want to like also say it's here but like the way i describe it is when I get off the bus from work and I step into my room and I can just take a deep breath and I'm like, whew, I don't know, like I kind of, in my last project, my friend basically had said that I have a talent to make anywhere I go feel like home because I pack my stuff up in such a specific way and every room I've ever had has looked the same. Like covered in posters, it's got all my shit everywhere. Like it's very like teen girl, like I've got pink everywhere and like all of my stupid posters. 
and like every single room has been very similar like because the same stuff has been there like I think definitely like I have like a real like ability to like make a place feel safe for me but I think that's like through like my kind of adolescence needing that like I don't have a specific like word or something but like which would just is just like my place it's just where I belong there's no like reason it's just like what I feel I feel like it's I'm 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 myself